Okay, so this video is just showing how I went about getting my JEGS fuel rails to fit on my Trailblazer SS intake. This is a, a known issue with the, uh, the height of the stanchions here that mount on the TBSS rail being too high for a aluminum rail. The rails that I'm talking about are uh, here, this rail here. I'm using the Holly Injector 522768X. If you uh, take your dial indicator, as I've done here, lo I locked it at one inch and just flip it up on top here and then scribe a line to cut on the bottom. That marks out for where you're going to saw it off. I did buy six millimeter 1.0 uh, socket head bolts 20 millimeters because I felt that the 16 millimeters they do work I just wanted a little more bite um, and I 3d printed these adapters which are going to press into the bottom of the intake after I cut that off of there I'll uh, do my best to figure out how to get a link in the bottom here for you guys to be able to print those that's printed out of PET G so basically you do want to have a six millimeter one tap on hand. Uh, after I put it in, I run that tap through because sometimes the plastic likes to try to close off the hole a little bit. And I also have a couple of uh, longer six millimeter uh, screws, bolts rather, to thread into it to help maintain its position while it's cooling back down after we push it in. Okay, I flipped the camera around, flipped the intake around because couldn't really see what was going on on the back side there. So we're just going to cut this off of here. So here's that stanchion we just cut off, set up in the vise. We're just going to cut the top and the bottom of it. You can feel and hear when you hit the nut cert. Just flip it over, give it another cut. And we're just going to put it halfway between the two cuts we just made. Grab hold of it, just pry it off. There's the uh, nut cert inside the plastic. We're just going to do it one more time. Get that out of there. And we'll throw it on the floor. So that's what we do. So this is what we're going to reuse. Push this back in with a uh, soldering iron. Okay, so the final step is to take the 3D printed little thimble here and the nut cert that we removed from the original boss. And all we're going to do is we're going to plug this into here because it clicks in there pretty nice. I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Crazy glue this, super glue, whatever. Be careful not to get this on your fingers, obviously. It really does work instantly. I'll probably have it on me before the end of this. Take this and just insert it right into the intake. I had a pair of channel locks here. Here they are. And a little washer to uh, block off the top to make sure that we don't go past the top of the intake. Just bottom it right out. <clears throat> there we go. That's flush. So we can flip it over here. Show you. There she is right up to the top and then the final part of this equation is going to be taking the soldering iron which is pretty damn hot right now with a little bullet tip and you're just going to push it right up against the bottom of the nut cert here and just press it in it'll take only a few seconds there she goes when it hits the bottom it will stop 
take it out and then you're going to want to put a bolt on there just to hold it while it sets up. I'm actually coming in from the top side with another one and trying to thread it into it. Catch the threads on it. Just to make sure she's nice and parallel. Hold it steady for a minute. Let that cool down. The bolts will pull the temperature back out of the nut sir. And then once this is set, we're going to run our six millimeter one tap through everything to make sure that it's a nice clean hole. And on the top side, just going to give it a touch the chamfer tool just a just a little bit just to knock the squareness off the top of the hole and that should do it these already have a little bit of an engine assembly lube on them but just to show the fit. It's beautiful. And that's it. So there we have it. All of the rails are all mounted up. The last thing that I have is a uh, my map sensor. This is a three bar because I'm putting a turbo on my truck. And uh, they have this clip system up here that a lot of guys put a strap over the top of it. I made this little uh, retaining clip again out of PET G 3D print. I'm going to uh, see if it fits. Hopefully it does. And I'll try to add this to Thingiverse and add it as well. There we go. Nice click in there. It's beautiful. All right. There you have it. We'll see if we can get this thing posted up.